All right, chat. I have the request. I have a request for the chat. How do I tell if my Pokemon is is? Okay, I have a couple of things to do for you here. How do I tell if this thing is bad already? Um, we have to find the legendary Pokemon that I need the most. I will do an introduction in a second. Let me find Dusclops. Oh, wait, okay, is it this one? No. Is it this one? I have so many Dusclops. No. Is it this one? No. <laughs> is it this one? No. Cool. Just hopeless team. How do I check to make sure my team's got already, by the way? Anyone know? At Battle Tower? Can you guys look at my Pokemon and tell me if they're right? This thing is in a max layer? A lowly region. Uh oh. Hey, is there a mark here? Is there a mark here? Hello? Uh oh, I have a bad feeling about this one. There's no mark, right? There's no mark? Do I have to fix this one? That's not bad already? Gosh darn it. One minute. Every second matters. I have one minute. I have less than a minute. Mashing, mashing, mashing. Okay, I have to have perfect inputs here. This is a speed run now. Oh, shoot, that was wasted frames. Midnight, okay. Okay, 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 hang on, chat, I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta do this. I'm already connected to the internet. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, whatever. Please, 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 please. Please, 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 please. Okay. Please work! Please work! Okay, cool. Thanks for all the help. Get me mons. Alright, I'm ready. Ender's note. Normally, if you finish a season in Master Ball tier, you're bumped down two tiers and you begin in Great Ball tier 9. Now, I forgot that I did not play any Pokemon in like all of the month of October, and so therefore I was not Master Ball tier. I was already Great Ball tier 9, and so I was bumped down two more tiers to Great Ball tier 7. I don't realize this at this point in the video, however, this is uh, increasing the difficulty of this run significantly compared to my normal, my normal run. Alright, here we go. Midnight. Oh no, I'm wasting time in the searching process. <sighs> hey everybody, it's been a while, but we are back with another team. Lots of legendary Pokemon in this one. No flame, no flame. Casuals, please, no flame. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Solid team for the- What? Okay, Charizard Duck Trio. Kind of scary. I can't switch, which is annoying. Um, light screen or reflect, which is more valuable right now. I'm tempted to say... I think if I click reflect, I'll definitely survive a hit from Dug Trio. Okay. Oh, sunny day. I chose the wrong option. Uh-oh. Actually, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's actually fine. All right, cool. That's, that's a win. That's a dub. That's a fatty dub. Okay, interesting team here. Um, Amoongus plus Cresselia. Yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon here that I don't love to see. We do not love to see it. However, we have some good Pokemon against this team as well. Okay, you know what? That's totally fine. I'm not going to lie to you. That's that's a perfectly acceptable lead for us. 266. I'm not faster than it. It's Tibby Tailwind. Yeah. Reflect would have been better here. No cap, but um, I still think this is good. This is a good move. This should be Max Hailstorm. Oh! You guys want to see a dead body? You guys want to see a dead body? I'm glad I didn't. This is why I didn't nasty plot. Just in case, right? Just, just, just in case. Just in case something like this happened. Oh no, my Moltres took some damage, but the damage was super effective. Wait, what's this? My Moltres is holding the Wackness policy, and now my attack and special attack are rising. Wow. GG. Alright, Mario rank 7. Okay, this is a... Huh? Hello? Oh wow, okay, no Trick Room is good to know. Um, this isn't bad for me, I, I get a free light screen up. We'll get to see if they're timid. I don't get much damage on the board, but yeah. Let's see if they're assault fast and if they see if they're timid. Okay, they're not. They're not. Um, big damage. Okay. Um. Cool. So I'm just gonna go into. I think I go Feeny here. I think I try and save Moltres for the late game. I don't know if they're assault fast. Why don't you use nobody likes Landorus Blast? Why do we, wait? I don't understand. What's the question? Wolfie's outfit. Oh, my in-game outfit or my real-life outfit? I see. Ideally, it's Draco Meteor here, but I don't think it will be. I think it's gonna be Flash Cannon. <sighs> yeah, maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Mabel Ein. Helping hand comes out. Okay, that's not ideal for us. But I could get a special attack drop. Can I reflect up? I should have electro I should have electro That was my bad. 
Um, I just have to figure out how to get Moltres into position now. Feeny, 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 Feeny. Oh, I'm faster. Drop, 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 drop. Yeah! Ah, <laughs> oh, feels good to be king. Ah! <laughs> cool, GG. Not a rank nine, okay. This is like more of the teams I was expecting to play against. Just like a traditional standard, but lots of fairy types. Lots of Moltres hate in this team. Um, should I still bring Moltres anyway? Okay, I think Dusclops is pretty good here because of, like... Can I bring Dusclops Feeny here? I don't think that really works. Can I not bring Regilecki? No, I need, I need Regilecki because... I do need Regilecki here. I need Dusclops here for sure, and then last Mon, I guess I could do Feeny, although it feels kind of awkward. The issue is that if I bring Moltres, I'm going to Dynamax Moltres, which means, like, I don't really want to be Dynamaxing Stack Attack a late game. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this. It's very awkward, but I think it's okay. I'm going to use Screens to support my Feeny. I'm going to use Early Game Moltres to do damage. I'm going to use Late Game Feeny Dusclops to try and win with the Screens up. They don't really have Speed Control outside of Max Airstream. Thanks very much, George, for the five gift subs. It's very generous of you. Thank you, thank you. I think they're going to lead Thunderous here, just if I had to guess. Thunderous Landorus. Okay, honestly cool with me. I mean, I may as well see if they're going to activate with this policy for me, right? Um, I'm going to sit Reflect. Half the time, Thunderous is physical anyway, because now they're running Defiant, and Special Thunderous isn't that strong, I think. So I'm just going to go for Reflect here. I will live in Earthquake. Uh, I outspeed Scarf Landorus. Um, and I'm just going to Dynamax here and go for damage. If we go for Airstream. Yeah, Reflect Max Airstream. I think it's pretty strong here. And it gets me a screen for a while as well. Thunderous is a problem for sure. I definitely be wary of it. But yeah, because of Moltres' is phenomenal natural bulk and the fact that all offensive Thunderous are physical, um, I think this is a pretty solid move. I think. We'll have to see. George, thanks for another gift sub. Very generous of you. Yeah, this is this is an old this is an old lead that I've seen before. This takes me back. Not Reggie Lucky Moltres Kolar. <laughs> that is not a lead I'm super familiar with. They are Dynamaxing that will be Thunderous. It's a luxury ball, which confirms it. Wait, actually no, luxury ball could be Landorus, but the only way Landorus is faster is if it's Scarf, so it shouldn't be Landorus. It's Thunderous. Okay, cool. That's fine. Um They worst case scenario is they airstream here. Um, but it's okay. Best case scenario is they max lightning. Um, and airstream would be problematic, like I said. Yeah. Because that allows them to earthquake before Moltres attacks. Although, like, honestly, I'm not doing that much damage anyway. I'll set both screens for Moltres and then just see if I can win from there. Because, like, I didn't bring Landorus this game. I didn't bring stack attack. I don't really have great answers to Thunderous on my team. I prefer Defiant physical Thunderous specifically, because I can't use Landorus to beat it. Um, I will get Reflect up here. There's no Protects. We would like to see Max Lightning here. We would not like to see Max Airstream. They go for a Max Airstream. That's the proper move. It's just unfortunate for me. Okay, but they target Reggie Elect or Moltres. That did a lot of damage. It did a lot more damage than I expected. I don't know about y'all, but that did a lot more damage than I expected. It is Life Orb. Um, they're going to for U-Turn, actually. Okay. Just barely not enough damage. Okay. Um, I'm going to Airstream off of my own. This is. I don't think this trade has been super in my favor, I'll be honest. They, especially if they go into, like, Metagross here. What else do they have? Metagross, Tepo, they probably are not going Tepo Fini here, if I had to guess. They could actually go Tepo Fini. What are their other Pokemon? Metagross, Dusclops, Fini. I guess they have to go something that's bad for me. I don't know that one. Metagross? Fini, okay, cool. Cool, cool, not cool. Misty Terrain goes up. I do half damage, which is nice. Get my little speed boost. I need to run a calc here. 
Take the blue pill. Thanks very much for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. But I don't have light screen up, so I can't really go for it. This is such a risky play. I can't. I can't do that. I can't trust about that. This should be switched back to Landorus, I think. No. Okay. Protect. Okay. Are they gonna airstream my Reggie Lucky? Because that would be the worst case scenario, although honestly. Fighting comes out, okay, cool. Yeah. It all comes down to do I think that I will survive a max lightning from this thing? I think I will. I mean, it was an obvious switch, but I thought it was the right thing to do anyway to, to do this. I think Moltres will survive here. I'm hoping Moltres survives here. And if Moltres does survive, I think I'm in really good shape to win this game. However, if Moltres goes down, I think I'm in really bad shape, and we'll probably lose this game. Volt switch fails. I knew that it was a possibility that it would fail. Um, please, Moltres. You have Reflect Up. You're super bulky. I think you can live. That shouldn't have killed. That really should not have killed. Wait a second. Is that a crit? That was not supposed to KO. Hang on a second. That was actually not supposed to KO. Wait, what? That's never supposed to KO. Huh, okay, so I made the wrong move, it turns out. I'll just train us up, which is good for me, but um, we have a number of problems in front of us. Dynamax has gone on both sides, but I didn't take a KO, which is like kind of extremely problematic. Life Orb and Assault Vest, okay. Is it bad that I still feel like I can win this? It depends on what their last Pokemon is, right? It's either Togengus, Metagross, or Dusclops. Okay. I think I just Volt Switch Thundee here and Trick Room. I don't think I can win this. I, I like. I don't think it's the reason I think I, I had I lose this is not because I don't have the Pokemon. I think it's that I, my position is too bad. I really hope this KO is. Oh my God. Okay. Well, that's gonna be it. it's an eighth. Um, unless unless Type of Fini takes because they're gonna Earthquake here. So, unless Tepo Fini takes, like, literally zero damage. Which I think is unlikely. I also don't know if this Thunderous is Taunt, either. Let's see. Well, I need this to be, like, Wild Charge or Superpower. Wild Charge and Dusclops or Superpower into... Not into Regi Lucky. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay. Uh, ideally, they survive. They do survive. Okay. Uh, I mean... Okay, I shouldn't take too much from this. I should not take too much from this at all. Okay, 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 wait, hang on, this is doable, this is doable, I've seen we win these. I need to just not miss my attacks, which is going to be pretty difficult for me. Specifically, I need to not miss Muddy Water, unless I want to go for Scald here, but I think that's inferior to the other options. Because basically, like, they have Thunderous, Landorus, Landorus, is, I think it said it was Assault Vest, so it can't really do anything against this combination. Like, it can't protect here, I'm not even sure Thunderous has Protect, it probably does. Superpower, um, Fly, Wild Charge, probably Protect. Um, but Feeny's damaged, right, and can't switch in. Um, nothing really takes, because of Feeny's damage, like, nothing else on the team takes Muddy Water well. So if it's Dusclops, like, I should pro I can probably win as long as I KO the other Pokemon fast enough. And then, if it's Feeny, like, Feeny can switch in, but will take too much damage and won't be able to take two attacks. Landra switches. This is probably Feeny. They're probably going to give me Feeny here. That's Feeny. Let's see what happens. Should we protect? No, they don't protect. Okay, I super hope I don't miss my Muddy Waters. They have protecting this thing, so it's going to be Barry. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I need to hit. I need to hit Muddy Water right now. On the Thunderous, at least I hit both, which is really good. Sorry, I'm focusing on the game right now, not on chat. That I think is. In, I think that's in Nightshade range, and I got Accuracy Drop, which is phenomenal. Um, so they're they're trying to play to an end game. Their last Pokemon was probably Metagross, if I had to guess. Um, they're trying to play to an end game where they can win based on the Landorus beating my because I have Reggie Lucky in the back. Unless that's Landorus. It's so good. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I can win this. Put Muddy Water and I think this is the time to go for a hard read and Nightshade the Token Kiss here. Wait, 192 plus 95. The average of that is basically 50. I'm going to Pain Split here and heal up. And Muddy Water. It's a little risky, but I think it's okay. 
Oh, I could have also gotten Reggie Lucky in this turn. Although I think like I think I win this by exerting pressure with Feeny. They do go for Protect on Token Guest, so I think I made the right play here, or on Feeny, so I made the right play here. Um, this comes down to how many Muddy Waters am I gonna miss? They have 139 health left, okay. So that probably means they can't take another combination of this combination. Double up, don't miss. Okay, I hit. Accuracy drop, accuracy drop, accuracy drop. <laughs> Please! That's a ton of damage! Didn't miss, didn't drop though. Okay, that's gonna be scope lens. Is it gonna crit through light screen? It crits through light screen! No! Uh, it crit both my mods. Uh, I can win this, I can win this, I can win this. Okay, wait, I can win this. Two, 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 two. Three. I messed up. Oh no, I messed up. Wait, is this a kill? Is this a kill? It kills, right? Tapafini, I know I've been asking for a lot. Please, on this one, don't miss. Okay, I didn't get crit, which is the important thing. Oh, I did get crit, but not the, right, not the one that matters. You're gonna miss them eventually, Wolf, so it's okay. Uh, at least I didn't get crit. Well, Dusclops got crit twice, but not Tepafini. I believe it's Assault this Landorus. I believe that's what I saw. Which means that Muddy Water and Pain Split is my best move, right? Last turn of Trick Room, and even if Feeny goes down here and doesn't KO Landorus, then my win condition is just beating Dusclops. Well, Dusclops beats Landorus in one versus one, thanks to Reflect. And I will know exactly how much HP they have left, unless they fall. I think I just choked this. I missed! Who did I miss? I see we win these. If I reflected, if I reflected, I would have won. If I reflected, this is a win. I didn't know they had protect two. <sighs> why did I miss three muddy waters in a row? Ah, I hate muddy water. This is why you don't use muddy water, folks. I would have won. I had so many opportunities to win this. I guess I should have hard rate to protect there. I guess protect is kind of obvious. I was just going to feel super stupid if I went for reflect and like... Yeah, they were two nightshades away. And they crit boat. Oh my god. I played really well and then I... I shouldn't have gone for Muddy Water. I don't ever win this. I'm going to save myself some time. Alright, you know the deal. Number one, I'm stuck. Number two, I think I'm going to play until I lose again because it's getting late. Oh my god. That one hurt. That one really hurt. This is why you, this is why Muddy Water is bad. I think that maybe I could have... They were they just played Token Guest so recklessly. Like, they didn't protect it ever, so I figured they didn't have it. That's why I went for that move. But yeah, okay. No more. One more loss in this stream is over. Because it's effectively 3 in the morning. So let's try it. Let's do our best. Okay. That was so frustrating. Okay. It's fine. I'm not frustrated at all. Um, they have Zerka Tree, which is scary. Zerka Tree, the Zerka Tree. They have Tail and Crobat. Although, like, honestly, Moltres plus Regieleki should just go to town on this. Landers Feeny in the back. Um, this only really loses to Rillaboom leads. Why is there so many Token Guests? Token Guests is not good right now. Should just be able to go to town with Token Guests, I think. Bro, you're for show sure getting stream sniped? I don't know. Like, that person should have lost. Like, I don't think they were stream sniping. Uh, they attacked into Feeny. 
Or, like, the, the Fiendy protected as I doubled the token kiss, right? Like, they didn't... There's no indication that they were doing anything fancy. I just, like... Like, I would have won if I didn't miss... I think I had to hit one of those three Muddy Waters. Maybe two. Like, I think one of the... I think I had to hit... Or, I think I had to hit one of the ones on Togekiss. Because Dusclop should have won versus one Landorus, because I would have been able to get Reflect up. Like, the timing of Reflect was actually really nice. Okay. To me, this looks like they want Trick Room up. Is that what it looks like to everybody else? Because I could be wrong. So many Togekiss, dude. I think they want Trick Room up. Or they want to do Imprison stuff. I'm going to do this. Um, I can Dynamax Landorus, even if things go badly. Thanks very much, Lucario, for the dono. Love your YouTube videos. Thanks for making them. First time watching your live stream. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Thank you very much. If I'm my opponent, I'm not feeling good about this. Because, like, both Pokemon can be okoed by both my Pokemon, in theory. I bet they, like, max token gets and just one-shot my Regieleki, which is still fine, honestly. If I get Chandler here, it's a good trade. Who? Who's Dynamaxing? Who's Dynamaxing? Is it to it's gotta be Togekiss, right? Okay, now what on earth? Someone explain this to me. I dropped their speed, which is good. Um, but the bad news is that I'm... Wait, it's Max Chandler. Why? Follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. Protect? Okay, that's fine. Okay. I believe this is what the kids refer to as Keck W. Am I right, chat? Keck W in the chat. Any Keck Ws in chat? What is it? I don't know what that means. Am I, am I saying bad words? Am I saying bad words? Let's go multi. Let's go multi the mult. Uh oh, multi. We're in trouble. Multi, I've got some bad news for you. I got some bad news for you, kid. That chandelier's got Max Phantasm and it's got you. Oh, we're gonna win. Oh, wait, but how do I beat Tojikus? I don't care if you boost your attack. You're 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 rude. I don't care. Um, Max, er, I think Rock Slide will kill. What do you? What does the chat think? Do they have Intimidate in this team? I have to check because if they have Intimidate, I probably should Rock Slide Earthquake. There is no Intimidate. I'm just gonna click. I'm pretty sure Rock Slide, because Rock Slide is stronger than, um, than Electro up here. So Rock Slide plus Fire Earth should kill. Okay, but chat, do you think I'm gonna miss Rock Slide and lose the game because of it? That's what I really want to know. Like, do I miss Rock Slide here on the on the Shandy? I miss it on the Chandler. Nope, on the. I felt like I had to do this to win, because they probably have Rillaboom in the back. Okay, I got one. I finally got one. I could have Earthquake that turn. I should have Earthquake that turn. I, I figured, you know, I figured I would hit. I don't know why I assumed that. Oh, okay, wait, hang on, wait a second. Wait a second. Guys, I can still win this. This game isn't over, everybody, okay? I've seen me win these. Think about it. Think about it. Now, chat, you think Zergatru scares me? You think Rillaboom scares me, chat? I'm not afraid of Rillaboom. I'm not afraid of Rillaboom. I'm afraid of the Rillaboom inside us. Well, I wonder what I'm going to do with my next Tepofini. 
question is, who do I kill here? Wolf Glick, back against the wall. Muddy Water misses, Rock Slide misses. Nothing goes his way, nothing will go his way. But he won't give up. He's got a boosted Maltrace and a Dream. And Tepofini was meant to die. The plan is simple. We need to get rid of Tojigas so that if the last Pokemon is Zerka Tree, we can one-shot it. Grassy Glide comes out. The worst, the best possible scenario. Wolf Click hard reads his opponent to predict the, wait, it's double predict? Okay, the worst possible scenario. Oops. It's still okay, though. Turn one, turn two, turn one of grassy turn. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Can I win these? Is the last Pokemon cir circuitry? Because, like, I'm not that worried about Rillaboom, right? I'm worried about Zerkatree. I mean, I am minus one defense, so I have to be careful. But, like, even still. I got full HP boosted in Moltres. I wish I had a screen up, though. Grassy Glide comes out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Feeny. You did your job. Kill the Chandler after Landorus missed the Chandler. I'm faster than the entire team, right? I'm faster than the Rillaboom Tailwind. It's not Assault that's Rillaboom. Which means that if the last Pokemon goes down to Max Darkness... Because I can use Dark Darkness to drop Special Defense, right? It's a 2 versus 1, but I have a turn left of Dynamax. And they have 3 turns left of Grassy Terrain. And I have minus 1 defense, which is kind of a problem. The worst case scenario, okay. Well, we have to Max Darkness that. Which is good, because it should put in a range of... Even if it protects here, it should put in a range of another one. I guess I'm just kind of worried about... Wait, darkness, darkness. Ah. No, oh, oh. No. Predict both? Oh my god, they got me again. Are they knockoffing? Like, what are they doing? Alright, they'll go down to another one of those because I'm dropping special defense. This is turn three, and then next turn is turn four, and then turn five. So I can win if I don't get too KO'd by this thing. One of the attacks from Dynamax. Woodhammer? Okay, how much? Does plus two Maltres. Does plus two Maltres versus minus one Rillaboom KO. And I think the answer is no. It's not a solve this Rillaboom. I can't believe how much Woodhammer did. I can't the worst part is that if there were one more if there was one less turn of grassy terrain, I could just protect and win, probably, but there's not. It's Fire Wrath time. I have to I have to Fire Wrath will KO Zerkatry, but I don't know if it will KO. Well here we go! Zerkatry goes down, but how much to Rillaboom? It's just not gonna do enough. This move isn't very bad. Well, I guess the stream's not over. That's a back against the wall situation if I've ever seen one. Let's go Moltres. <laughs> Let's go Multi. Man, Token is somehow strong, even though it should be bad. Alright, come on. Give me all the trouble. This looks like a nightmare. Or does it, chat? Chat, does this look like a nightmare to you, or does this look like an opportunity for something? Oh wait, no, that's this looks like a nightmare. Here's what I think, chat. Late game stack attack of Dynamax should win. God, ah, it is kind of a problem. Like they're gonna lead Mamoswine here, right? It's gonna be Mamoswine plus something. Probably Mamoswine plus Regieleki. So, do I want to do Moltres here? Like, I have my own Moltres for a reason, and I can use it in this matchup. Like, it's not bad, per se. It's not great, though. I'm going to try Dusclop stack here.
They have four, three physical mons and three special mons. So I need to get damage in Regieleki, Moltres, and Feeny. I just basically just need to not get swept early game. How long is stream for? I'm sleepy after, just until I lose, so probably this game. Who's best tap when doubles? Right now it's looking like Feeny. Or Rillaboom. Or Indeedy. Or Regieleki. Probably Regieleki. Mammoth Sword's strong, unfortunately. Mammoth Sword is like, he's my guess. It is. Okay, well. <laughs> well. Um. My plan is to lose my Pokemon by having them faint. Do I like my plan? Yes. Yes. They're gonna max Mammoth Swine. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try and reverse sweep this game with the stack attack, which is fine. It's probably a life for man. I'm trying to make matters worse. I just have to hope my Reggie Lucky's like, faster. They're not bouncing at the same tempo, which makes me nervous. Like, they're bouncing off interval. I don't know why. Why are they bouncing off interval? It really, it's truly really irking me. But why didn't I click Muddy Water? Why would I... I could have just used Snore or Splash or something. If I wanted to do, do down damage. Okay, no Dynamax is probably good for me. Does that have horsepower? Is it Volt Switching? It's probably Volt Switching. Ooh, Electro Weeb. It's a lot of damage. Wait, I should not have done- I feel like I shouldn't have done that much to uh, Feeny. I feel like it might be a boosting item, because Feeny should be taking less from that. Oh, okay, yeah. High Haunt's power comes out, which is fine. We're planning on losing two Pokemon immediately. That's, that's the plan right now. Please hit my Muddy Waters. I, I know I ask for a lot, but- Please, please hit. Okay, I hit both. I'm gonna uh, drop accuracy. Please. Uh, by drop accuracy, you may drop their health to zero. Okay, so you might think, oh wow, your top of is gonna go down without KOing that Mammoth Swine, and that's right, and that's very good for us. Because what that allows us to do is use Beast Boost time. Really? This is good for me. Oh yes, everything's coming together. Unless for Lubum is taunt, in which case things are falling apart rapidly. Miracle Seed, and we don't. It doesn't have an item because I ate it. Miracle Seed is great. Mir uh, I'm gonna click the only move I have. This is what we call momentum-based gameplay. Position-based gameplay. I don't know what it's actually called. Okay, Gorilla Boom. I know you want to bonk my fiend. Rillaboom, I know you want to bonk my Feeny. Rillaboom, give my Feeny to the bonk. Please, use Grassy Glide. Grassy Glide, we really, we really want Feeny to just go bonk here. They might think, oh, oh, I can cover the options. Like, if I use Grassy Glide and Icicle Crash, then they'll click, like, okay, I have something in that slot regardless. High Haunt's power. Uh-oh, not Taunt. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. Honestly, that's just rude. Like, I'm just gonna say it, that's really rude. That's really rude. Okay, drop accuracy as punishment for crimes. Drop accuracy, please. Why? Why I am cooking so good? Okay, Trick Room goes up, so stack attack is not looking awful at all. Um, but I'm worried about Feeny coming in here, to tell you the truth. Wait, what could come in here? It's probably Feeny, right? It's probably Feeny. It's probably Feeny. But Feeny coming in would be no Grassy Train, which would be good for me, so. Oh wait, I kind of like Grassy Train, though. What else is on this team? Entei? It's not Entei, is it? Tapafini. Whoa, shiny Tapafini. Who's gonna Dynamax, though? Um. Alright, I did get, uh, getting Light Grab earlier. It turns out to have paid gigantic dividends, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it's Miracle Seed. I'm just gonna paint with the Fini to get some health back and click Muddy Water, because I'm not gonna switch, tell you that much. At least the defense boosts don't matter as much this game. Uh, if they decide to, you know, set up with. If they try to set up with um, Calm Mind, I can always haze. But yeah, I think things are looking okay. Though losing my EV Light is kind of problematic. I have to be really careful to let that stack attack. Oh, they don't. They don't. Um, they don't. They don't. Uh, they don't do it. You know what I'm saying? They go for Calm Mind. No, I go for Mighty Water. I miss. Oh, I hit! Can I get accuracy? Uh, accuracy drops don't matter. I'm hazing. Okay, I don't care about accuracy drops. 
Grassy Glide. Please scale. Dude, what are you... Stop ignoring my Feeny. Oh, it's attacking. Okay, well, I'm just going to paint with the Rillaboom. I don't even know if it has Protect, so I'm going to do that. Quick Money Water again. I mean, they're playing this pretty cleverly. Like, they're trying to get both KOs at once, which, like, is smart. They might even be Specs Feeny. I can't tell. But they haven't Dynamax yet, and they're running out of time. Also, I think Knockoff is better. Maybe they covered Ally Switch there. I missed. Who did I miss? Not Rillaboom? Okay, I want damage on Rillaboom. But I want more damage on both. I think one of my Pokemon will survive. Accuracy drop? Dude, uh, that's crazy. Okay, Fini goes down. Okay. Well, here was where things get interesting. Chat. Gleam comes out. I feel like that might be Specs Fini based on how they're playing this. I do survive. I'm 23 HP left. I'm going to go into my Dynamax Pokemon, Stacky Tacky. And I'm going to um, Max Steel and see what happens. Just a little Max Steel and see what happens, eh? Huh? Um, I think I just pain split to try and stay alive, right? How many turns of light screen are left? Four turns of light screen? Oh my god, Reggie Lucky, thank you for your service. Um, honestly, at this point, chat, it doesn't really make sense to go for max steel, because, like, I don't care if my defense is boosted, so let's go for max knuckle. There's just still KO. I just hope it KOs through protect if they have it. Wait, I have, a ch I have a question. Beast boost takes into account your current stats, right? So if I max knuckle and get an attack boost, then if I KO the Rillaboom, the beast boost should be physical, right? I guess we'll find it out. You want to learn something? Chat, you want to learn something? I'm Max of the Staxa. Oh, it's not Ivy. It's Ivy's? Or it's stats? Doesn't count stat boost? Okay, cool. Well, I'll get an attack boost regardless. Although, if that were the case, I might have gone for Steel Spike just to make sure I KO through Protect, but like, whatever. I'm, I, I think it will KO even through Protect. Like, yeah. I think I still made the right move. I don't even think Rillaboom has Protect. Okay, Tepa Fini time. I think it's Specs Fini. I'm not positive, but like normally Tepa Fini won't run Dazzling Gleam unless they're Choice Specs. Especially based on how they were playing that. So yeah, I think it's probably Choice Specs Fini. They're going to Geyser my Dusclops. I actually might lose this, depending on damage. Okay, I get an attack boost, which is nice. Although, with the light screen, honestly, I guess, honestly, it depends if Dusclops goes down here. I feel like that's what a lot of this is going to come down to. Like, if Dusclops doesn't go down here, I'm in really good shape and probably win. Um, but if Dusclops does go down, then, like, I don't think my next Steel Spike will KO the Feeny. Although, honestly, it could. It honestly could. Because they have some speed on their Feeny as well. Borrow some health. How much do we get up to? It's going to be close. Uh, I don't think I survive. I don't think I survive. Oh, Stacky Tacky survives. Stacky Tacky, huge survive. Big survive on the Stacky Tacky. Um, if they are not, by the way, if they are not, um, uh oh, if they are not Specs and they have access to Protect, this becomes a very, yo, Joey, thanks very much for the raid, dude. Hope you had a good stream. Um, if they do have, if they're not Specs, I don't, I think they're Specs. They've got to be Specs. Oh yeah, they're Specs. Okay. It would have been a really uncomfortable end game. It would have just been a 50-50, I think. Oh, Stacky Tacky he is. Let's go Stacky Tacky. Yeah, I unfortunately, like, started two tiers lower than I should have. So even though, like, I would be in Master Ball right now, I'm only now... I'm still in Great Ball. Just because, like, I, st I had to get through two entire tiers. Alright, I said I'd stop when we lost, and we haven't lost yet. Okay, one more win, we get a Soldier Ball. I just, I just thought this outfit looked stupid, so I chose it. Okay, here we go. This is for Ultra Balls here. <laughs> oh man, so many, so many strong opponents. It's Guzzi. Eh, oh, y'all, it's the matchup that I really don't like. So many Steel-type Pokemon. Okay, so how are we going to win this? Can we win this? Ferrothorn on its own is like a nightmare, right? And when you add in... Okay. 
The issue is that I can't get kills like in any way, shape, or form. Okay, I'm gonna play flexibly. Is this what I wanna do? I think this is what I have to do. Okay, this is gonna be next to impossible. I don't think I can win this. Metagross was there, there was Lapras. Why did I start two tiers lower? Because I didn't play last month and I didn't realize it. So I, I so like I was two tiers like I didn't, I wasn't mastered all last month and I just didn't realize it. No Fini, I mean well, I need to beat Metagross. I, I need to beat Ferrothorn. Lapras, the spots okay. That was my items. I was trying to move out of the way so I could see what items it was. <laughs> I have two options here. One is kind of good, one's pretty trash. I can Volt Switch myself and Max Darkness and try and immediately win the game, calling a Protect um, on Lapras, or I can slow play and go for Light Screen. The question is, will I go... This is an all or nothing play. This is an all or nothing play. If Moltres faints this turn, I will lose. I think this might not have been the right play, but like honestly, I think I have to play aggressive this game or like I will lose. Cause I can't I can't get through Like Stack Attack will beat Ferrothorn by getting defense boost and then beating it, but like if like it, or that's how it should beat it, but like they can get defense boost too. I guess wrong. Okay, but I might survive anyway. I could survive anyway at least. If they max garden, I'd be so happy, but I don't think they're gonna max guard yet. Don't do more than 40. I think I live. Honest to God, I think I live. I have max resonance. Okay. This would be a good time to bring in Tepu Fini, but I, unfortunately I have defensive Pokemon for the rest of my Pokemon except for stack, so. I will live it, but not if it's life orb. Eviolite and light clay. Okay, I think I live. That's my, that's my inclination, at least. Like, I needed to do something to get rid of Dust Clops, I think, you know? I'm gonna be plus three at the end of this turn if they resonance me and if I survive. Okay, maybe they hit Reggie Lucky? Maybe they hit Reggie Lucky? No, nobody cares about my weakness policy. Well, Chad, I wasn't wrong. They crit me! Oh my god, okay, and I have eight turns of clay now to deal with, or of this to deal with now. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> Maltrace at plus three versus Lapras. I was definitely right that I was living. Uh, in light screen, I will not KO. Incineroar. That crit matters a lot, because now I'm in range of um, Incinero, which I wouldn't have been in range of otherwise. Oh wait, I might die here because of this move. Wait, yeah, they're definitely attacking with Geyser. Yeah. Kind of a bad switch, I guess. Might be. I think Reggie lives, though. Okay. I'm trading a lot of damage here. Um, I have to make a call here. Do they expect me to double the Lapras, or do they expect me to... Or do they think they survive? Because they don't survive a double up, I think. They don't survive a double up. Right. Well, here goes nothing. I don't know if they're Assault Fest, though. It depends a lot on if they're Assault Fest. Like, I'm strong, but... How strong am I, actually? I 
It's plus three max airstream, but it's light screen up. It's a soul fest incinerator. Oh my god. The absolute worst case scenario. <sighs> At least my dust corpse is plus one speed now. Can I still win this? <laughs> Maybe? It all depends on what the last Pokemon is. It's probably Ferrothorn, in which case I probably lose. It's either Ferrothorn, Dusclops, or Metagross. So Metagross I win, Ferrothorn I probably lose. Five turns of Ale, three turns of Rain, okay. I can't, like, I can't switch is the thing. Yeah, they can switch, unfortunately. Is it Ferrothorn, Metagross, or Thunderous? Ferrothorn. L. It's an L. Okay, I missed the Ferrothorn. That's good. I might have to crit. That's a lot of damage. No, it wasn't a crit. The freezer comes out. Okay, I could have all switched. Okay. Would you guys believe me if I said I thought I could win this? And there are like a very specific circumstances I think I can win this. How many turns of their like clay stuff are left? That's my first question. There's four turns left. I think the I think the Aurora Bill is probably what kills me here. Okay. Ferrothorn is so impossible. Okay, that's fine. That's super fine. Let's go dust pops, good dodge. Actually bad dodge, I think taking the damage there is better. My plan is to win with, like the instant they iron defense, things get really bad, but my plan is to win by getting beast boost or with pain split. So if Body Press gets the kill here, that'd be great. I don't think it will because of the... Okay, good. I got the defense boost. Good stuff, good stuff. I have Haze. So, like, in theory, like... Uh, theory, I don't think I can get rid of Ferrothorn quickly enough in practice. Is it Iron Defense? It's Leech Seed. Wait, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. I see how I have to win this. Believe it or not. Seeing is believing and nodding is... Believe. What? Is timer 15 minutes or 20 minutes? Uh, because in the rules they said it was 15, but I think it's actually 20. Is it 15 or 20 minutes? Because that's going to change how I play this. Anyone know? I think it's 20. I don't think I can win on timer, because I think the least you do damage will add up too quickly, but I'm going to try. This battle hasn't been going on for that long, though. Like, their first Aurora Bill is still up. I don't think I can win on timer, so I gotta find a different way. And the way that I want to win is... This is just pointless, right? No, it's not pointless. Okay, I'm plus two now. So if Stagger crits first of all, this is a win. They don't have Iron Defense. Wait a second, chat. They haven't used Iron Defense yet. They have Leech Seed. They have... This isn't over. This legit is not over. Wait, I can win this.
I've seen me win these. Chat, would you believe your eyes? Could you believe your eyes if 10,000 plus 2 defense, max defense Ivy stack attacker? I am just a man with a dream. How many turns of this dang Aurora Miller left? Give me your health. I don't know how much body press does. No protect? Do they even have protect? How much is this going to do? Okay, good damage, good damage. Iron Barbs, okay. They're healing a lot, though. Dust clubs? Okay, good, 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 good. They think I'm gone? Psych! Not today. Okay. 41 HP, they have 41 HP, they heal a ton. But not enough. Right, not enough. I'm not even sure they have protect is the thing. 41 done to what? No, they definitely have protect. 23? 23 plus 23 is 46. I take another one. So I have a couple options. I can KO myself to mitigate the recovery. Their aura is gone, right? No aura though? Okay. I think one body press does it. So is Trick Room plus body press my best option? I'm gonna nightshade body press. Force them to protect. I could have done better things there. Okay, chat. If they get the double, do they win? If they get the double, do they win? Because that seems like a way that I would lose this. How much health are they at? You know what, chat? I'm gonna be honest. With all the passive damage going around, like, I don't think I can afford to not KO Ferrothorn this turn. So if they, get the, if they get the double, like, I think I will lose. If Even if I, even if I hard read and go for Trick Room. I should have gyroballed myself that turn. That was stupid. Alright, chat. I have a 2 and 3 chance to win this game. What do you think is going to happen? Press 1 if you think I'm going to win. Press 2 if you think they get the double. Hang on a second, chat. Well, the stream's not dead. The stream is not dead. That was very close. I am shocked. If they had, if they had Iron Defense, that was a guaranteed loss. But they didn't have Iron Defense. They were Protect Power Whip. Leech Seed, probably gyrable. If they had Body Press, I lost as well. That should be Ultra Ball tier, I think. You, hey girl, you get my HP up. By the way, that was a game where the like the EVs make a big difference because I was, I was like really living on a prayer there. No more Ferrothorn, no more Cell Steela, no more Steel type Pokemon. TV, oh no TV. Nihilego, okay, I've seen a team like this, but I don't remember what it does. Okay, this is another terrible matchup. <laughs> no cap, no cap. Um. I think this is just straight up Moltres mode. I should probably Dynamite. I haven't Dynamite Slanderous even once. It's kind of whack. Is this the right Pokemon to bring? If they lead a Moongus, things can get a little dicey. Although, honestly, yeah. This looks like a team I would build. Like, Stack Attack is good here, but I, I'm not confident I can Trick Room up, is the thing. Like, versus Mamoswine versus potentially Imprisoned Schindler. Thanks very much, Pi. I appreciate it. The speed on Regieleki is to outspeed other Regieleki. And also, because you really want to be light screening or reflecting before they get um, Electroweb off. Hey, no flame, no flame, no flame, no flame. No flame, no flame, no flame, no flame. Man, there's pretty much everything they lead will have a good matchup against me. And that's why I'm world champion. Can't get this kind of bad match up just anywhere, folks. Man, Dustclops with stack attack is so strong here, but like, I just don't think I can get past a Moongus. I don't think I can get Trick Room up is the thing. 
I think Dust Club Stack Attack has its own team, and then the rest of the other four are its own team as well, but I've put them together and they're not really gelling. Near Lego started running Power Gem, or Meteor Beam with Power, with power Herb, so they can one-shot stuff. I'm gonna use Moltres, I'm gonna use Moltres aggressively, and aggressively. Mammoth Swine? It's always, it's always Mammo. Yikes, dude, that's gonna be a yikes for me. The worst part is this This literally could be Trick Room, Nihilego. I'm gonna Reflect and Protect? Your boy doesn't really have good moves. Reflect, Protect. A little bit of slow turn. I will not live Max Quake, but I would live an Earthquake. I don't think I... Oh, wait, what if they just... Oh, God, I think this is looking bad. They're gonna Max Nihilego, I think. I think. I could have electrowebbed. If Rigilecki goes down this turn, I think I lose, almost certainly. I need speed control, and like, I don't have speed control right now. Okay, no Dynamax is interesting. I wonder if they're, no, they're not gonna. Okay, they don't go for, wait, what are they doing? Meteor Beam. It still works, oh no. That's quite bad. Wait, did they just kill my Rigi Lucky? Because that'd be really bad. I had to wait this whole time just to watch. Okay, cool. But there's a high horsepower, and do I die? I just go crash into my Moltres. Cool, cool, okay, cool. Um, hmm. Well, now it's boosted, which is pretty scary, but I guess do this. I got both screens up. If I can get speed control, then I can win this. I definitely have to max Moltres here, because what I need to have happen is they're probably going to max one of their Pokemon. It's probably going to be Nihilego, um, but I can beat Nihilego with Earthquake Man uh, Earth Earthquake Landorus, provided certain conditions are met. So there's the, there's the Dynamax and the Nihilego, which is okay, like I mentioned. Like, it's not the end of the world. Plus one Max Rockfall is going to do a lot. Um, yeah, plus one Max Rockfall is going to do a ton. However, I do get I do get Light Screen up first, and I Dynamax, and I Reflect up. So, like, Mammoth Swarm, in order to live, the plus two Max Hailstorm is going to need to use... It's going to need to be Focus Sash, in which case, I think I will survive a... Um, I think I will survive an Icicle Crash at that point, because I have Reflect up, I'm Dynamax, so... It's just going to come down to... I'm not super familiar with these Pokemon and, like, stuff yet. Like, Moltres and Screen is not a Pokemon I'm super familiar with, obviously. But I think that I have a chance to make it through this turn with a decent chunk of HP. I just need to make sure I'm out of Ice Shard range at the end of the turn, is the real thing. Because I do get Screen up. They're going to go for a Max Rockfall, I presume. Max Rockfall comes out. I need this to do less than 50. Do I think this is less than 50? I do. I was wrong. I need this to be non... I need this to be not Focus Sash Mammoth Swine. It's probably... I feel like it's gotta be Focus Sash Mammoth Swine, right? My Moltres just spiked, but... Wait, Isaac Crash can miss. That's my weak addition. Okay, Max Chair Stream comes out. I get my little speed boost, which is great, unless it's not Focus Sash. Okay, we still have a chance at this then. Okay, we actually have a pretty realistic chance of this then. Because Moltres can just kill everything now. The issue is that I can't really switch around easily. Um, but yeah, Moltres is now plus three, which is pretty good. And I have both screens up. I can't switch into Landorus is the issue. Like, I need to get speed control somehow, but I need to do it without without switching. I need to, I, or I need to get landers in without switching. So I basically, I either need a safe switch somehow, which is unlikely in front of this Nihilego, or I need to click, I need to let Reggie Lucky go down. Shoes coming in. Among Us comes in. Okay, cool. I think that's actually in my favor. I'm going to click Electroweb. I'm going to click Electroweb and Protect here, I think. This way, like, it's kind of a win-win situation. Like, either I go down. I think Among Us might protect itself here is the thing. Um... But if I go down, then I, I at least have speed control on the Nihilego for the rest of the game. If I get rid of Amulius, or like, a, yeah. And if I, or if I don't go down, or if I do go down, the Landers comes in, and then I can Earthquake Airstream. And if I don't go down, then I don't lose a Pokemon, and I didn't really lose that much, because Nihilego attacked into my Moltres. They go for Protect, that's what I expected, which is why I went for this. I didn't want to lose Moltres for no reason. I want to make sure Moltres takes a KO and puts me in a, at least a neutral position. Um, and I, I didn't want to have Nihilego, like, running around with, like, another max turn after this, so... At least not in a position where Landorus couldn't come in and KO it. They're gonna go for Ooze, actually. Okay, this should KO. Oh, wait, maybe it doesn't KO. Reggie Lucky, please go down? 
Reggie, like you were so strong and like way too strong, unfortunately. Okay, but now I'm in initial position. Actually, wait, this is fine. 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 I'm plus three, so I guaranteed I'm guaranteed airstream KO here. Um, what I'm thinking here is that the opponent has to make a choice between either KO and Regilecki or an ignoring Maltrace. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna does that really work though? I'm gonna volt switch into this and airstream into this. Or maybe I'll just electro up again, honestly. Get it to minus two. Electroweb and Airstream here. I kind of like it. I've still got my screens up. Like, yes, Nihila goes plus two now, but... And maybe plus three or plus four if it cakes a KO with Max Use or Max Rockfall. Um, however, like, Amoongus should go down here, and then... Like, I guess Amoongus doesn't have to go down, though. But if it doesn't go down, then... What happens? They got the double. I lose to double protect. <sighs> nice crit, Reggie. Lucky. Really good job, dude. Thanks for the sub. If Nihiliko goes down, or if Amoongus goes down, then it's game over. But I like struggle a lot with Amoongus, and I don't see how I can win now. I should have switched, I guess. Gotten a speed boost, but I mean, honestly, the speed boost isn't the issue right now. It's the freaking Amoongus. I did get Nihiliko to minus two speed, which is good. And I did solid Dynamax, but yeah, they've made a lot of correct calls. Not turn one, though. Turn one, if turn one had gone badly, I would have lost. There's still too many turns of sand left, is the issue. There's so many turns of sand left, which makes this really difficult. Tepafini, I'm sorry for what I'm about to do to you. Landorus isn't going to... You know what? I, I'm assuming they have Rillaboom in the back and that their next move is to switch in Rillaboom and try and attack. Well, I was right, but I will lose because of it. Because this won't KO. Because I'm just barely... Like, this was a this was a win. This is an easy win, but now I, my, I get put to sleep because of this. Like, I called what they wanted to do correctly. I played pretty well, I think, overall. I could have flow flew there, but it doesn't actually get me anything. Um... Because, yeah, like, now now this. Because I got put to sleep. Because Earthquake's Earthquake is going to be this this much short. This much short. I, I correctly called Rillaboom switching in, which is why I Earthquake myself. Landorus, I don't ask you for that much, but this would be a really nice time to just land on a nice big crit on that, on that Amoongus. And not on your own Feeny. It's not enough. Wait, did I crit? Did I, wait, did I crit? Oh, Landorus didn't even need the crit. Hang on. Ladies and gentle wolves, we have a game. We got a game. We have a game here. But how do I not lose it? Is the effective... Wait, can I win this? This felt doomed. This felt doomed. This literally felt doomed. Um, They do not have grassy terrain up. That's one of my strengths right now. And I have my screen still. How much of my screens are left? I set light screen first. I said let's second, which is good. Okay, wait. There's a way to do this. Um, all Landorus needs is one Earthquake, and it will it will KO stuff, right? Meaning, if I get rid of Rillaboom, I can always Electroweb plus. I can always Electroweb plus. They fake out something. Ooh, Landorus, right? Oh, they not fake out Landorus, right? Power Gem, okay, into Landorus. Oh, but I'm a Salt Fest. 147 down to 108, okay. But I get I get good damage off because of this. Uh, wait, how much damage do I do? A lot, right? This is what we call a piece of me. Sand ends as well. Okay. Wait, I, I should win this. I think I win this. K 
Can I lose? Can I find a way to lose this? Because I should be winning it, it feels like. What if they crit me? Why am I weenie? Why am I weenie? All right, can we talk about how clean that Volt Switch into the into the Amoongus Earthquake play barely picking up the KO was? Because that that if that had been Eevee differently, I wouldn't have killed it. But also, if they hadn't gotten the double protect, I would have won. Okay, I think one more gets me master. Whoa, did you hear that audio skip? That was weird. Where is Parish Trap without the Parish Trap? You, you feel what I'm saying? <laughs> um, wait, where's the Parish Trap actually? Okay. Um, versus a team like this, I think that it's likely that it wants to do some kind of... I like Stack Attack right here. I like other things too, chat. Not just Stack Attack. -a. But I do happen to like Stack Attack. -a, yeah. Moltres doesn't really need to come here. I don't like it versus Gothita. I do like it against a lot of these Pokemon, like Rotom Heat, um, Gothita, and Dragapult, but I don't love it versus Draki, and I don't really like it versus Glastrier. Versus a team like this, Reflect is your most valuable screen, I think, and then Light Screen Secondary, just because, like, yeah, all the Pokemon. Although, I think, I think this is a Trick Room team. I wonder why it's Gotharita. I normally consider Gothita to be the more threatening one, but that could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Uh, a versus team like this, I'd not be surprised to see Dragapult Terrakion or Clefable Gotharita. I think one of those two. That's why I led double Volt Switch slash U-turn users to try and potentially deal with. Um, oh. Okay, well. That's, that's interesting. Um, am I just like, am I just straight up maxing right away? Is that what this is? Um, I think I just max Landorus here and hope I don't get burned. I very easily could get burned though, but like... Reflect plus max Airstream is probably fine here. I can't guarantee they'll play well. I should, I should, I should try and... Yeah. Because I think in the matchup like this, I don't need to max Stack Attack. I think Stack Attack is kind of here just like a trick room answer. Um, because it reflects all of the hit and then Landorus will have speed. Dragapult plus... Chat, does, does Adamant Landorus have speed? Dragapult plus one. What's up, Faye? How you doing? Oh, I didn't notice you had a raid. Thank you, thank you. Rotom Heat comes in. More like Rotom Yeet. Am I right? Okay. Um, there's a number of ways of... Huh? Well, I gotta, I'm glad I got Reflective, at least. But we know three of their Pokemon. One of them is Dynamax Dragapult. Um, if they want to drop my attack, that's okay, I guess. I think this is still, like, a relatively fine interaction for me. I can get both screens up. I can get some nice damage on the board. Um, Tapu Fini is looking very strong here. Tepavini is looking exceedingly strong here. Um, I can get both screens up. What else can I do with this? A, a lot's going to depend, I think, on whether or not they airstream or if they max dragon and how much I do in return. And how, how much they do, how much I do. How much I do, how much they do. You know what I'm saying? I think they're just going to max dragon me, right? I feel like if I'm in their position, I'm always max dragoning. Although, man, I've been wrong before. I also can't say for sure if it's physical or special because it'll probably do about the same amount based since I have the salt vest and reflect up. Like, you know. They go for a warm wind, okay, makes sense. Into my Regio Lecky, makes sense. I should live. Did a lot of damage though. I don't think minus one rockfall will KO the little rotom heat is the thing. I'm very afraid as well of getting um Will o Wisp. That's some good damage on the Dragon Pult. Okay. Um we got reflect up. I think that's physical Dragon Pult. Uh, wait, was it life orb? I wasn't paying attention. Minus one Max Rockfall is not going to KO Rotom, right? It does not KO Rotom. Okay, cool. Um, it probably does not KO Rotom. That being said, I think it's probably still my best... Actually, you know what I can do here is I can say, alright, you might burn me. You may ban me. 
But I'm gonna make my Feeny bulky. And by Feeny bulky, I mean I kind of wish I airstreamed that turn. But I think that this is still fine. I've got Reflect and a Quake boost up after this. Like, Landers may get burned here. Minus 600 gang in the chat. Oh, Rotom switched into Terrakion. Okay. I'm gonna get some Volt Switch damage off, which is nice. That's actually a lot of damage. Like, crit? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was like, that shouldn't be doing that much. Um, I think I'm just gonna do a Feeny here. Like, seems like a solid one to bring in. I do really wish that I had gone for a second Airstream, kind of, so I could have Feeny at plus two, but also making Feeny especially bulky is pretty good as well. Um, yeah. If they max Dragon, which is their best option here, then they'll have to hit Landorus or it won't do anything. And if they max Dragon, and, if they max Ghost, then I'm still pretty strong with Landorus, which is nice. But yeah, I'm trying to set up for a, I'm trying to set up for a Tapu of Feeny endgame, I think. Just some good damage to Landorus, or to, um, to, uh, Dragapult. A little boost. I go for Wormwind, correct slot, though. Okay, good play, good play. Nice. <laughs> Big damage. I do need to get Feeny to plus one speed. That's my goal right now. It's not life orb. Probably weakness policy. Um, or maybe Sash, I don't know. Muddy Water and Airstream, I think, are my next best moves. I don't think they're gonna... Like, I, I took a bit of damage, but I think the trade is in my favor right now. They switch out Terrakion again. Um, the last Pokemon are Gothitelle, or Rotom Heat, or Glastria, I hadn't considered that one. Good max guard, really good max guard, unfortunately, for me. Um, so Tapu Fini's kind of a monster right now, although not getting an Airstream boost is kind of bad. They don't have the screens up, do they? I have Reflect up. I hit! Wait, why? Okay. Um... Wait, okay, their last Pokemon are Rotom Heat and Terrakion. So... Muddy Water again, and I think I'm just going to U-turn here. Um, into the... this. Because I need Landers to beat those Pokemon, I think. At least Landers helps a bit beating those Pokemon. I hope you... Minus U-turn probably doesn't do enough here, but I'm going to try. Because if it KOs, it puts me in a really nice position. Cool. Um, they're almost certainly going to use a max or a nice move into my Landorus here. They're not going to think about me potentially switching out because I have all these boosts. So I'll use this opportunity to switch into Stack Attack. It'll put me a little bit out of position, but overall I think it's fine. Um, yeah. Especially given how much damage. If we connect this Muddy Water, we're going to do 50% of this Ice Horse. Right. Tachakion, my friend! It is so good to see you, Tachakion! I have not seen you for a long time, Tachakion! No, the enemy. This is kind of funny because in order for Tachakion, like Tachakion to KO Sack Attack, yeah, they would have had to go for close combat, which would have meant no damage on Feeny. Although Rock Slide's better because it just is double fake out. Um, here's the first one. Oh. Oh, wait, I think my game is bugged. Chat, what? wait, I've never seen Muddy Water's animation before. I don't get it. Oh, wait, what if this is weakness policy tracking on? <laughs> Are you gonna use. Huh? A scoozy? Little horse! Little horse! That the move is not the. Wait, that's move strong. No flinch, no flinch. Hmm. Huh, who do I want to KO? I think I gyro ball the. this thing? I think I body press is stronger. Because at this point, I can probably win with Landorus plus Regilecki. Since I can just. I just need to get rid of Terrakion and then I can go for Electro Web plus Rock Slide and probably win. I had to be careful though not to lose. Because losing would be bad because I'm trying to win. Wait, why didn't it hit? I feel Feeny flinching every day of the week. It's either flinch or double miss. I felt it. Sometimes you just feel it. Sometimes you just feel it. And chat, that's okay. You're allowed to just... Oh, am I flinching? Am I double flinching? Oh, 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 oh monsieur, Tachakion! I cannot help but notice that, uh, that uh, the Tachakion is now Tachakion. Oh, 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 oh. 
Uh, I take another. Wait, wait. Oh, I saw reflective, right? Oh, I only get plus one defense. Maybe I don't take another. Um, know the enemy uh, horse horse quake, max horse quake. I really want to switch here, but I really don't want to get hard red and lose. Um, okay. Like if I switch here and then they, what, what would, what's the worst case scenario? The worst case scenario. Like, can I lose? I guess what I'm wondering is, can I lose to Rotom Heat in the end? I really, I honest to goodness do not believe that I can lose to Rotom Heat in the end. I have such a safe switch to Landorus. If I switch, I just, I think the end, I think the end game is the same. I just, it just depends on. The only thing that changes is, um, do I have, do I have to? I still have to hit an Electro Web because I actually think Tapafini is better to preserve here because I can Electro Web Scald and Scald is stronger than Rock Side and it doesn't miss. So we can try and mitigate our luck a little bit. Um, and if they hard read me and, and double KO me, then we're in bad shape. Yes, but hopefully that doesn't happen. They go for Thunderbolt. Okay, I made the right play then. Even if they KO my Landorus, which they... Oh, into stack. Wrong, wrong one. Bop. And defense boost again. The Senku, second the key. The Rotom could outspeed me. Why do I even need French classes like learn for YouTube? Excellent question. Next question, my French people. Uh, je suis les oeufs de le chien rouge. Do we have any native French people? Do we have any people who are fluent in French? How do I say wall? GG. 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 Shake hands, shake hands. I, f I literally, I'm like in a daze. Like, I forgot that I spoke. I, like, somebody posted Monsieur Dracigon, and I like forgot that I forgot that I said it. It's going in my, it's going in my look for later, Drew. Mer. Oh, mer? 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 Is this really mer? Don't, don't do that. Don't give me hope. Mer? Mer? Mer, Stiba? Why am I number 10? Why am I number 10? It's like 4 in the morning. Mer? Can I have some more French, please? How do I say I am. I am. Orange wall. Je suis orange mer. Je suis le mer orange. Je m'appelle le mer le mer de orange. How do I say orange? Orange? It's just orange. Je suis orange mer. Je suis orange mer. How long has he been playing? Four hours. Je m'appelle le mer de la chaîne rouge. Je suis un oeuf de la chienne de la pomme. Le délégé d'Archie est un schmetterling, ta torte d'un minor hosen. Le visage d'un bébé de la chienne rouge. Nobody wants to play with me. Just like real life. Okay, somebody wants to play with me. Number one, number one, number one, number two, number two, number two. Wait, how, how, wait, what? How are you number 72 already? Wait, but I started at number one. I started at number 10. Wait, this is a strong team. What the f Je m'appelle les oeufs de la chienne rouge. Wait, I did this before and lost. Am I, is that just gonna happen again? I have to be more aggressive with... I have to go to the Thunderous more aggressively if I do this. Mm -hmm. I can't really beat Thunderous if I do this, so should I bring... Wait, hang on. The other option here is these two up front. Yeah, yeah, wait, this works, this works. Stonka Tonka? It, like, uh, but it, it only kind of works. It doesn't like, it's not great. Moltres is really strong here, minus the Pokemon that Moltres loses to. Honestly, chat, let me be blunt here. Stack Attacker has been carrying this stream, right? Can we be honest with ourselves? I, th I think, I think it's time to, I think I'm riding or dying with Stack Attacker. Right, I, th I think it's time. I like. I don't know if this is the best bunch of Pokemon to bring, but I think I think we got a Venom in the stack. Ooh, cool Pokemon. Okay, this lead is somewhat expected. I wouldn't say it's unexpected. I wouldn't say it's unexpected. No intimidate, no intimidate. Do not lower my attack. My physical type of feeling likes to use Choice Band. No lowering my attack. When you come to it. Okay. Tapafini's Misty Surge. Now I can't be flinched by Rock Slide or miss my Muddy Watchers. Excellent job, Tapafini. Well, only one way to go, and that's back into Dusclops. Bum, 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 b
I hope they don't switch into Meatigross. Meatigross is pretty strong Pokemon, and I don't want them to switch into Meatigross because it's pretty strong Pokemon. Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm thinking like four turns in the future when like switch, switch, and then reflect, uh, and then trick room, and then faint, and then uh, and then I don't want them to switch into Meatigross there because all the max steel spike of Landers is still on the field, and then I would like to just get rid of them. Show me your items. Show me your items. It's Assault Vest Life Form. Assault Vest Life Form. Wow. I'm see the future can. Dynamax Thunderous. Max Max Electric into. Type of Phoenix, Earthquake into uh, into both Pokemon. Reflect goes up first. Max uh, Electric does like not that much damage. Earthquake will use uh, uh, Regilecki with a little bit of health left, and then yeah, turn ends. Protect, 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 protect. No, why not Max Guard? I'm so scary. I'm a scary. I'm a scary. Max Lightning. Max Chair Stream. Into. Oh no, that was a good play. That was a really good play, and that's really bad. I lose. It's an eighth. Wait, why did I do so much damage? I feel like I did too much damage. No, Reggie Lucky, don't faint to the max attack. No, Reggie Lucky! Hmm, okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. Um, I can still win this, but I have to figure out a way to do it. Stonk you, tonk you. Okay. They're gonna hit me with Max Knuckle this turn, so I have two options. I either Max or I hard switch back into Feeny. I think the answer is hard to switch to Feeny and trigger him. Because they're gonna Max Knuckle me. That was really good. That was a really smart Max Airstream. They're gonna Max Knuckle and, and Earthquake here for good damage. And I think I have to Haze and Muddy Water, or maybe I just go for Scald, honestly. Yeah, Knuckle comes out. Actually, maybe I don't even bother hazing, because I'm just going to try and KO this Thunderous pretty soon. Muddy Water is pretty strong, though. And I can switch whatever his switches in for good damage if I initiate that slot. So a little Earthquake here. Oh, but I really don't want to lose my... I really don't want to lose my Dusk Off, so maybe I can split then. Because it should do a decent chunk. Okay, that did more than a decent chunk. Um... Yeah, Medic or Lenders can't protect itself, so I think just by going for Muddy Water plus Pain Split, I put myself in a pretty nice position. I can still win this 100% of the time. Um, I just need to figure out how. Because they're going to switch Landorus at this turn, which is where things start to get kind of tricky. This should be Feeny. Okay. Oh, wait, I meant to Haze. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to Haze. Haze Split comes out, take a little bit of their health. Get back pretty healthy. I think they're just gonna attack into Feeny this turn, but just to be safe. Feeny's gonna Muddy Water, but it misses the Thunderous, the one I needed to hit. God dang it. Alright, I know how I have to win this. Thanks for the sub. Thanks for the 10 months. Thank you, Joyland. I really appreciate that. Chat, I can do this. <laughs> And I'm not memeing. I'm dead serious. I can win this. I just have to figure out why. Electric Seed? Electric Seed, Tapu Fini. Huh? Okay, I stole another Dynamax and I got my Trick Room up. Uh, and I have Dust Clops and Stack at full. However, I didn't do very much damage, which is a problem. Now, okay, I'm gonna put myself in my opponent's shoes. Let's kind of just like kind of shoo, shoo it up, right? I'm down four Pokemon to two. And my last Pokemon is. They, have, they are afraid of Max Rockfall, probably here. So if I'm them, every day of the week, I am switching into Landorus, right? I'm switching into Landorus, and I'm either super powering or I'm attacking with Feeny, depending on who I choose to switch to. So I'm going to hard read a Landy switch here and protect Haze. Because um, if, if, if I go for Max Rockfall here, then they would and they lose Thunderous. Or if I Max Steel Spike and KO the Feeny. Max Rockfall and Nightshade into Feeny, actually, or Max Rockfall, Thunny, and Nightshade Feeny would be really difficult for my opponent to deal with. So I think they want to switch here into Landy. They switch out Thunderous, okay, into... Is it Landy? It's Landy, okay, I think, I think. It's really good. Okay, that's the opportunity I needed to win this. That's 100% the opportunity I needed to win this. Now I just have to figure out what to do from here. Protect. Make sure I don't take any damage. And then... They protect as well. Okay, perfect. That's 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 a free KO. Okay. That's a free KO. And I have Reflect Up. So right now my game plan is... Let me focus down these special attackers. Because, or these special attackers. Because my if I... If this turn goes properly, then... Um... 
I get plus two defense. So I'm gonna max steel spike into the Feeny. Oh, but I don't. Oh wait, but it won't shoot. Okay, well I'm gonna get plus one defense then. I do need to get rid of Feeny at some point. I need to just take KO so that they can't keep switching around. I'm gonna steel spike the Feeny, which will not KO, and then I'm gonna shoot the Feeny just for the KO. At least it's, we know it's lefties, and it can't protect this turn. If I'm Landers here, I'm probably switching out. Um, although I'm not sure they have a good switch. Okay, Landers switches out. I was correct. But now the momentum is kind of shifting because, like, yes, Thundee switches in, and, like, that's not great for me. However, um, I am about to get some, like, I get a boost. I get at least one defense boost. And if, if for some reason, stack one, is, like, stronger than I anticipate and it just one-shots the Feeny, then I get plus two defense. Um, and with plus two defense, the game becomes a little different because then I get to uh, max steel spike again. I get plus three defense, right? Um, and because my endgame here is body press stuff and just becoming very physically bulky and unkillable, um, I, uh, this KOs, I'm in, I'm in, not, like, really good shape, but, like, I'm, okay, I, this is, like, see, like, this is the comeback we were aiming for. Um, I got the crit. I think stack's pretty strong. The more I thought about it, the more sure I was that with KO. Um, so I just need to, I just need to my trick room correctly. So now I'm plus one defense. If I had old stack attack, I would be in really bad shape, because I get an attack boost here, but it's a defense boost. And even though, like, my Dynamax is now less useful, because I'll become intimidated, um, it's still totally fine, I think. I don't know if this Thunderous has protect. I also don't know if the last Pokemon is Cresselia, Metagross, or, or whatever the last Pokemon is that I forgot about. It's not Reggie Lucky, is it? Landers comes back in. That's good Intimidate for them. Um, but this game is slipping a little bit out of their control, I think. I don't know if I want to double the Thundee here for the KO, or if I want to get some damage on Landorus. Urshifu. Urshifu is kind of scary. Um... Do I want to double the Thundee here and try to take a KO? I think I'm going to go... I think the Thundee protects. I'm going to hard read a Thundee protect, and I'm going to go double into Landy for damage. Especially because nothing can switch into this except for Cresselia. And, like, if Cresselia is the last Pokemon, I feel like I'm in okay shape because, yeah, like... Yeah, they don't know I don't have Rockfall. I was wrong. Okay. Well, it's not the end of the world. I still get some really nice damage off here. Um, and I, I get to plus five next turn if I KO Landy, if, if I choose to KO Landy. Um, alternatively, I think I can KO Thundee at this point. And I don't think, I honestly don't even think, because I'm plus three defense, I'm not even sure if plus three superpower or plus earthquake do that much damage. Earthquake comes out, it's going to pop my berry. Um, I hope I time my Trick Room correctly, because if Trick Room ends this turn, I'm actually really in trouble. Four times effective, by the way. Oh, oh, they didn't go for stack. They're trying to stop Trick Room from going up again. Oh, you know what I forgot, y'all? Oh, Trick Room's over, I forgot. Um... You know what I forgot, by the way? Just be just a little, a little fun, like, BT dubs. I guess what Wolfie forgot. Um, do I want to go for... What's their last Pokemon? Because I have a free max card here, and they can't stop me from saying Trick Room up again. I'm going on the offensive. Um, Dusclops is getting these boosts as well. It's not just... It's not just my stack. So, like... Ooh, hello. Hello. Ian. So I have plus four stacky tacky. It's a plus four on stacky tacky, yeah. Plus four stacky tacky. And yeah, am I intimidated once, twice? Yeah, big whoop, right? And can Urshu crit through all of my increased bulk that I've been working very hard to attain? Yes, I can. However, stack attack I no longer need to attack a stack, a stack attacker stack. You know what I'm saying? Because now Stack Attack is no longer playing with its attack stat. The whole point of Dynamaxing Stack Attack and putting it in a position where it can take KOs isn't so that you can attack with Stack Attack. Contrary to the Attack Stack Attack 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 Stack of School of Philosophy thought, the point of attacking with Stack Attack is not to attack with Stack Attack after your Dynamax ends. The point of attacking with Stack Attack during your Dynamax Attack Stack Attack Dynamax Attack raises defense. Def whatever. Anyway, I'm out of PP. Four AM Wolfie is two hundred IQ. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, they're just trying to survive a hit, but I don't think they're going to be able to survive that hit very easily. They need double protects and they need to break the Urshifu this turn, which I don't think they will because if I if they anticipate me using like one attack from each into the Urshifu, like into each mod, then like protecting here is just an auto loss. I think they're just going to attack. I was correct. Say goodbye, to Urshifu. Was that water type? That was a water type Urshifu. Why didn't you guys tell me? Wait, I didn't know. You guys have to tell me what Urshifu is. I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell what Urshifu is. <laughs> just 
stack attack is honestly a monster. <laughs> this is why you don't attack a stack with stack attack. This is why you do attack a stack with stack attack stack. Wait, 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 Is this plus six? Is it plus six time? Stack attacker? Stack attacker. It's a plus six. Like, stack attacker got enough KOs and enough boosts to give it the effectively plus six, even though technically, yeah, they forfeit. And also, like, you don't get the boost in the last one. Team fight stack attack addicts. Okay, guys. We were number ten and now we won. Number six? Number six? Number five? I don't think we're any, Like, the person was, like, pretty far below us, but, like, it's still, like, it's four, it's three in the, four in the morning. Nice job, stack attacker. You got a ribbon. All right, let's check. Let's check. We are number 10. The Stonka Tonka. If it says there is no update, I'm, I'm gonna... Okay. I only got two ranks, okay. Well, I said I'd play until I lost, <laughs> so. That's just disrespectful. The game is like, the game is like, Wolf, you didn't play for a month? We hate you now. How many muddy waters? How many muddy, how many rock slides have I missed? 118, oh my god, okay. Hey, this is kind of like my theme. Huh? Uh, this is a, this is a Moltres goes to town game, kind of, except that it kind of loses to all their Pokemon. But not all of them. Um... This is like very clearly a team that where they want to get Trick Room up. The question is, okay, I think that I think that even though they want Trick Room up, I think that by using, I think that their team doesn't have like the crazy scary Trick Room sweeper. So if I just use my reflect light screen and then, um, yeah, like my my good positional play, I should be okay. Also, I can always stop them from getting Trick Room up by like like uh, attacking my own Moltres. You know what I'm saying? Kind of to pee. Wait, how does he with Garchomp? Wait, do I lose to Garchomp? Oh, my whole team beats Garchomp. What are you talking about? I got Landorus. And I have Moltres, and I have Tapu Fini. Did I bring Stack Attack out of this? Oh, I didn't. What rank is opponent? Like 100-something. Or like low 100s. 111 or something. 112. 118. Something like that. Hey, no flame. No flame. Listen, I know I'm using Legendary Pokemon, but aren't you having fun with me? That's Cresselia. Cresselia, that's what you sound like. Go, Cresselia, say brr! And then Cresselia's like, brr! Should I be aggressive? Like the cheerleading song? Or should I be possessive? Thinking about it, chat. I feel like every time I want a nasty plot, I shouldn't. And then every time I... You know what? If I've learned one thing tonight, Dynamax your Maltres, folks. And don't let anyone tell you differently. I mean, best case scenario, they volt switch me. Best case scenario, is electro web time. Wait, are you watching the stream? Hey, don't do that. I, I, you switch into Feeny. But I could have not done this. And now what should you done, huh? And then who would be laughing? And then who would be laughing? Me. Well, we know three of their four Pokemon. Reggie, Lucky, Crest, Feeny. I don't even hate being aggressive with my Dynamax early here. I have the tools to stall out their Dynamax since I got a light screen up. Three of their Pokemon are special. Why are you still stream? I said I was streaming until I lost, and then I stopped losing for some reason. This Pokemon is a sick joke. If they're teaming, I'm being tilted. <laughs> I'm faster, I'm faster. <laughs> I'm Reggie Lecky, I'm Reggie Lecky. I go fast, but also I go fast. Ah! Three points! Delicious, 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 delicious. <laughs> Show me your Pokemans. Won't hurt my ears? Hey, listen, I hurt my own ears too. Cresselia! Oh, Cresselia, you know what? I thought you were a dirty trader running away from my Moltres. I see now that you were just changing into a better outfit, and I respect it. If there's one thing I respect, it's a Cresselia changing into a better outfit, am I right, ladies? Um, can I kill the Pokemon I don't like? Is it ethical? 
Um, okay, this is actually a bit of an awkward spot. I think that my best bet is actually to click Electro up here. Um, okay, the issue here is that I really don't want to give them Trick Room, right? I think I should just wait. Volt Switch plus Max Darkness. Just like, it's obvious. Because what? How can they counter this with their own Regi Lucky Dynamaxing, right? And that's not gonna. That's not gonna save them. So I'm gonna Volt Switch and Max Darkness. Worst case scenario, they Ally Switch. Oh. Oh, okay. Never mind. It just. I think. I think this just works out well for me. Um, we know one of the last two Pokemon is Regi Lucky. I'm tempted just to click, just to go Landy here. It's Landy or Feeny, right? Landy's bad because it activates Intimidate, but Feeny's bad because their last Pokemon's Regi Lucky, and we don't really want to be in that position. So let's go Landy, and I'll just waste an Intimidate. It's fine. Because Moltres KO's here. Yeah, I think that was a good- I think that was a good turn for me. I got two KO's. And Regilucky doesn't like Landy, so as long as I save Landy, then I should win. Also, I have Light Screen up, which is kind of schnaish. And like you think in Dynamax Regilucky, which is kind of like which is pretty annoying, not to, not to be not to be blunt. Oh, Stacky Tacky. Um, this looks like pretty in my favor. There's some ways to go badly. Uh, I just click quick and then. I think I love a max move from Reggie Lucky. Wolfie, you're streaming in Australian prime time. Thanks for thinking of us. Anytime. Anytime. I love my Aussie watchers. My Aussie viewists. Uh, max Darkness into the... This is probably better. Wait, I could lose if Second Egg is Trick Room. <laughs> we all know how strong Second Egg is. Uh-oh. Beast Boost. It's the Stack Attacky? Stack Attacky? Stack Attacky? Sticky Ticky? Okay, I could lose because I wasted Intimidate. I should have gone Feeny because Light Screw was up. Oh my God! Inside Stack Attacker. I I feel that's indecent. Stack Attacker, you gotta cover up. You gotta cover up, buddy. I like. I feel. I feel guilty having seen that. I love this. I love this. I love this. Unless they crit, they don't crit. You guys want to see our Berserk Maltres? And Maltres, you kind of yeah, you're trying to go Berserk. <laughs> oh, finally an easy match. I feel like all my matches have been super hard. Stonky Donkey takes a lot of damage. They probably don't live earthquake from here. With Shugaberry, they're always Shugaberry. I was wrong, they're not Shugaberry. Is it Sash or is he lucky? Oh cool, 4 0. Nice. Wait, do I only use three Dynamax turns? Nice. Okay, three turn. It's 9 a.m. at your place in Germany. Nice! It's 4 a.m. here. Well, it's 3 a.m., but it feels like 4 a.m. because the clock's reset midstream, and I actually had to do the 1 a.m. part twice, which, as you might have noticed, was kind of the worst part of the stream for me, so... <laughs> okay, I was number 10, and then I won, and then I was number 8. Then I did nothing, and I was number 9. Then I won at number 8, and now I'm number... I hope... I hope it's better than 6. I hope it's 6 or better. I'll take 6. But if it's, like, 5, that'd be sick. Well, thank you. Robbie, thanks very much. Cresselia is just more toxic Porygon, too. That's certainly an opinion. And you have it. Good job. I said I didn't win the stream when I lost. And chat, what do we do with people who lose when the stream ends? Well, we take them to number five on the ladder. Okay, I think two more wins might do it, maybe. I have a question! What are their Pokemon? Oh yeah, DD Mail. That's um I mean, that is Trick Room. Is this Rapier stuff? Wait, oh wait, even though their Pokemon are weird, I can't beat Celesteela. Why I have to play against the Celesteela Pokemon? Why I have to play against the Celesteela Pokemon? Why I have to play against the Celesteela Pokemon? Celesteela Pokemon is hard for me to beat. Um this is good. Why I have to play against the Celesteela Pokemon? Why am I playing a Celesteela Pokemon? I hope that they do not set Trick Room. Why is all the Pokemon support? Sour Blizz. Thanks for the subs. Did someone gift? Or we just got some... Oh, George, thanks for the five gifted. Okay, okay, here's the plan. Pokemon is all about luck. 
and there's no skill involved. So the plan is that they just lucky bring not so steel out. Okay, I want them to lead Indeedee Clefairy and go for Follow Me Fake Out. And they fake out the Clefairy and then, yeah, that's what I hope happens. Right here. I'm clicking Electrode here because there's a chance that, um, there's a chance that Rapier switches in, and I don't want to do that. So I should have clicked Full Switch here, actually, is the fact. For a split second, I was like, I didn't prepare for Dynamax in DD Mail. <laughs> that was Jaredus. <laughs> Maybe it's Whack and Berry. I mean, the nice thing is that I will still maintain speed control here. Hopefully, unless I miss Electro Web, which I haven't actually missed an Electro Web yet. No, 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 my moves are switching. I don't like not getting screens up, okay? I like it better when the screens are up and the opponents are down. Now the opponents are half down. I was looking at Gar I thought Gyarados was in DD, and I was like, why did I just, why did I just murder Gyarados? But it's just Chris Elliott looks nothing like Porygon 2. Wow, we have some You know what I love about this community? Moltres, you have got to get it together because I am sick and tired of you slacking off and taking 90% from a dragon that's not even a dragon. You better pick up your axe, sir. I got my eye on- I got both my eyes- I got my- I got both my eyes on you. Because taking 90% from Max Extreme from Jaredus with no life orb is unacceptable. Okay, Wolf, how are you going to throw this one? I kind of feel like I have so many ways to... Wolfie, if you don't play smart, you will lose to Celesteel in the end. So... But I don't really have a better option here. I think I should just click Fire Gath and go for damage. Sack both my Pokemon. They're going to Rock Slide. I mean, they're pro based on how they're playing, they don't have Protect on Gyarados. So do I really need Reflect or should I just go for... Like, how much does Reflect even help me? I don't intend to take any more attacks for the rest of this game. I'm clicking Electro Web. I'm not clicking Volt Switch because, like, they might have Lightning Rod right here. here. What I meant to say is that I'm going to flinch them. Wait, 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 I thought it didn't work on ground types. Did they change it? Thanks for the sub. Okay. Okay, all right, here's the deal. The plan is simple. Flinch, 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 flinch. I haven't flinched a single person. This is not 20% flinch rate. This is not 20% flinch rate. If someone tells you, hey, Wolfie, that move is 20%. No, it's not. It's literally 0%. I haven't pushed a single person. Mm -hmm. All right, chat. So I know we were having a fun, nice, happy stream, but I think it's time for it to end. Um, you might think, hey, Wolf, you look like you're in a pretty good position, right? You've got Regio Lucky, which has a spread move. Um, you've got Tapafini now on the field, which, you know, is Muddy Water, which can KO both, probably with the combination of Electro Web. That's what you might be thinking. But then you have to remember, ah, but, like, doesn't Muddy Water, like, not hit? And you, yes, the answer is, is yes. Muddy Water will not connect. Um... So, I can click Muddy Water and end the stream. Press 1 if you want me to end the stream. Press 2 if you would think, uh, if you'd rather I don't end the stream and click Dazzle Limb instead. Oh, wait, just see what the chat wants. Alright, I don't care what the chat wants. It's Dazzle Limb time. Please don't miss the Jairdos. Like, if I miss Jairdos here, I actually lose. Wow, Regilicky is actually such a, such a homie. Oh! It killed! Where did Jairdos go? I'm not going to Dynamax because Dynamax is unethical. In this essay, I will talk. Uh, I hope right here goes down. I didn't lower it. It's max speed. It's max speed. It's scarf. It's scarf. It's scarf. It's scarf. Wait, did I just throw? Wait, did I just throw? Why is it faster than my Tapofini? Wait, that's not possible. That's not possible. Wait, that's actually not possible. Right here's max speed is 90. Isn't it? That's scarf right here. There is no... Not you. Not you! How dare you! Okay, well, time to click the skull button and wait for it to burn. Oh, thank you. Oh, I should have Dynamax Reggie Lucky, but first I wanted to Vol Switch. It was Scarf right here. I swear. I swear, I swear it was Scarf right here. Please don't believe me. There's no way for it to be It's Max Speed is 90. My Feeny is definitely faster than 90. Like, it's like, yeah. Number one, number one, number one, number one. There's no way. Maybe number three? 
Number two? Uh, number three or number two would be phenomenal. No update is realistic. Oh! Wait, what happened? <laughs> it's three in the morning. But hey, if it's your morning, then it's also three for you. And that's what I have to say about it. This is certainly experience. It's four in the morning. I am really surprised that we just said, I'll end this stream when I lose and then we just won. Um, also surprised that the game that got us here was against Scarf right period. Um, but yeah. Anyway, um, I had a lot of fun doing this. I'm not going to lie. I spent a day building... Uh, I spent a lot of time building. I was like, this team isn't perfect. Has some major weaknesses, such as the steel types um, and still steel uh, and something else. Um, however, oh, rental code. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me finish talking now. Just remind me in a second. Um, however, what was I saying? I was like, this is good enough. I can play with this. Good. I can play with this. It's strong. Um, yeah. So. <sighs> yeah, so so that's that. Oh, uh, let's do okay, chat. Because I'm gonna return these Pokemon tomorrow. So I'm gonna do rental teams, and then you'll never believe it. Who wants the rental team? Press rental team in the chat. Press Monka W S. Uh, Pepe sad. Wait, what's Pepe? Uh, Manage teams to share. You know what? This team is Garbaggio. Espion is time to be retiring. Here you go. Make it the public. You want the public team? Here we go. Full team exports in the sub discord if you're interested. I think this team isn't perfect, but I think it has a lot of really strong elements. Um, so yeah, let me turn off my camera so that I can take a picture of this properly. Eh. It's four o'clock on Halloween. Stack attack uh, shuffles in. There's a stack attack uh, sitting next to me, making love to the opponent that he kills with max steel spike, which gives him plus two defense if he gets a KO because it beats boost and steel spike, and then he can after Steinamax ends KO things with body press because he has a really high base defense stat. Actually, it's super crying. It's kind of crazy. 